one of the most enduring military aircraft designs ever introduced. Northrop Grumman Corporation's F-5 Tactical Fighter Series has served its customers over more than four decades. The F-5 is an agile, highly maneuverable, reliable supersonic fighter. Combining advanced aerodynamic design, engine performance, and low operating costs. As the original manufacturer, Northrop Grumman has the expertise in F-5 weapon systems integration and logistics to support the fleet for its projected life. The company can maintain and enhance the structural integrity of the airplane to ensure satisfactory, cost-effective structural integrity for the newly extended service life and at the more severe operational spectrums anticipated by countries operating the F-5. The Northrop F-5 is a family of supersonic light fighter aircraft, initially designed as a privately funded project in the late 1950s by Northrop Corporation. Though primarily designed for a day air superiority role, this upgrade included more powerful engines, larger fuel capacity, greater wing area, and improved leading edge extensions for better turn rates, optional air-to-air -air refueling, and improved avionics, including air-to-air -air radar. The F-5 was also developed into a dedicated reconnaissance aircraft, the RF-5 Tigger I. The F-5 also served as a starting point for a series of design studies, which resulted in the Northrop YF-17 and the F-A-18 naval fighter aircraft. The modernization centered on several areas, new electronic warfare systems, the Grifo F radar, an air-to-air -air refueling system, INS GPS-based navigation, support for new weapons, targeting and self-defense systems, HOTAs, LCD displays, helmet-mounted displays, radar warning receiver, encrypted communications, cockpit compatibility for night vision goggles, onboard oxygen generation system, and various new onboard computer upgrades. The F-5E is one of the most maneuverable and survivable fighters at its rank. The F-5E is a very prevalent gunfighter due to its conservation of energy and turn radius, but has weaker guns compared to the M61 Vulcan found on other American jets. Before taking off, consider selecting a lighter fuel load to increase the F-5E's speed and lower the turn radius, but using the afterburner will eat through the fuel due to its high inefficiency. Another suggestion is to disable the F-5E's radar, as the F-5E has no radar-guided missiles, so the radar isn't necessary in combat and may harm the F-5E's combat performance due to it tripping enemy r r After taking off, climbing too high will make the F-5E an easy target for enemy missiles, and without any ground to notch with or mask with it can be difficult to dodge a radar-guided missile. Staying below 10,000 feet, and going off towards the side of the battle at the start will let the F-5E work from the inside out. After the battle starts, F-5E pilots will want to abuse its energy conservation and turn radius to pick off threats in one versus one fights. The F-5E's primary targets should be MiG-23, MiG-27, and 4EJ as they pose a large threat to the F-5E's team. In a fight, constantly check behind the F-5E in order to defend against missiles. Maintain a relatively high speed, around 700 miles per hour for the best turning. Whenever the F-5E's plane is low on speed, disengage and try to regain that speed. 